Welcome back to this fresh test beginner tutorial to learn how to set up your fresh test entirely as a beginner. So in the first video in the playlist, if you have haven't watched that, feel free to check out the description dot box down below for the first video on how to activate your fresh test and forward all the supporting tickets to your fresh test account to create a ticket. So if you have not signed up your free 14 days fresh test free trial, feel free to sign up at this link as well that I'm inputting here. It's my uh, referral link, or you can check it out as the description box down below. So now in this video, we are going to learn how to set up your agents and different types of agents that you need to take note of because the first thing in the, about setting up the agents is so important because you may want to rethink how your organization works. Is there any certain tickets that you do not want to have certain team members to have access? Like, for example, maybe for me, some of the tickets related to finance, billing and account. I don't want the operation or customer service team members to actually reply to that. It actually belong to my finance team in the fresh desk, right? That's why you want to be clear on that in the very beginning. But let's start it uh, very easily. Same thing. Um, I might go to your URL. My URL is academy amazingacademy.freshdesk.com. And you can see in the left hand side that is a certain menu bars. So this menu bar is ticketing. It's all where your ticket available. And this is your dashboard. It's just to let you see how many tickets are unresolved overdue. And this is just a sample dashboard when I'm actually uh, just newly setting up. So right now, when I dismiss it, you can see that I have seven unresolved tickets, two overdue. By right, you should educate your team about reading this dashboard so that you can tell them, hey, you know what? There shouldn't be any overdue ticket, all right? And this unresolved ticket should be keeping it to the minimum. And there are two tickets to, that is due today that you are expecting it to become zero end of the day. And all you guys need to do is just go over to your open ticket and seven tickets unassigned, which means you have not assigned it to the specific members. Okay, so this is a dashboard and this is a ticket. And over here, it's all the contacts available, which means whenever there is any uh, client, con uh, clients actually send you, you an emails, their contacts will actually be safe under contacts here. Okay. So this is the solution. I'll skip it at this moment. And this is the analytics. I don't actually check them uh, at the beginning, but most importantly, we need to work in the admins, okay, in the admin settings. So one thing to note, admin settings, if you are you are the person who created the account, the freshest account for entire organization, this is what you are being called. You are being called as a account administrator. How do I get to this page? Simple. Just go over to your fresh test admin. Okay. And then you can click this agent and you'll see all the different support agents you're supporting. So right now you have this support agent. So for this support agent, you can see my hi at gmail.com is the account administrator because I use this account to sign up for the free trial and you can actually edit the different, um, different uh assign different roles to the agent like for example let me just click this okay click this pen button um you can assign it as a full-time and occasional okay what is the differences between full-time occasional so full-time it means that this person will be locked into your fresh test every single day that is where you're being built built by fresh desk as a fresh desk seat. Okay. Occasional is more like, for example, maybe you are the account administrator, you're the boss in your company, but then you don't actually log in to check in the tickets every single day. You only check it like once a while. That's where you can assign yourself as an occasional to save uh, money in terms of the subscription. So I think that is a pretty cool option. But right now, let's not go to complicated stuff. Just go to full time. Okay. So over here, you can uh, pick the time zones that you're working in. And over here, it's where you're able to set up the signature, uh, the signature, just like the email signature, whenever you send it a reply, what the person will be, uh, uh, what is the signature of the person? Like I was like, sure, you load our seal. If let's say you guys want to see more of my, of my other resources and what other software I'm using, you can go to junlo.co. Okay. So global access, global access. This is the part that I want to teach you guys. Very important. Setting this up will decide whether which agents they call this as agents, your team members in fresh test, what kind of ticket they can access to. So for example, initially, maybe you have separated your groups into operations and finance, but you don't want certain members to be able to access finance, right? So for, exa for example, uh, I should have a global access. 
I should have global access to all tickets. Okay, so you just pick that. Because I am the account administrator, I should have global access by default. But I want to show you guys it's the other agents. So let me just show you guys this one. This is an account. Sorry, this is the agents. Let us just go to the agents. Okay, when you go to the agent, same thing, you can set up the signature. And this agent is where I only, I don't want to give this agent global access. Maybe for this agent, I want them to only check out on customer support or engineering, and they should not be able to see anything related to finance or billing, right? That's why I don't pick it because they are being only assigned, they are only able to see the tickets. They are being assigned to the group, okay? So choose a group where agents can only view tickets. So same thing and support okay so uh for this when they are being assigned to the group even though the ticket is not being assigned to them the ticket is being assigned to other colleagues they are still able to view it so there's another even restricted access is like only when the ticket being assigned to you you're only able to see the ticket if this ticket even though it's to uh the customer success group but it isn't assigned to you you can't actually see that, okay? So for me, I actually don't use restricted access. I most likely, I'm just going to use assigned to their own groups. I think I want to maintain a very transparent manner where everyone can check everyone's uh, work. So that's why I would actually suggest to go to use assigned to their group ticket, okay? So the roles, there are a few roles. The first, the bottom is the agent. After that, there's a supervisor, there's an administrator and account administrator account administrator which is my account has the full global access this is the by default okay by default account who created the account in fresh dust for the administrator they are able to do certain stuff certain settings and the supervisor able to supervise the agents so for now on let's not complicate stuff i would just uh, uh, advise you guys you can just use agents as well as just use agents for team members in fresh test and just for yourself you are going to use the account administrator so now i'm just going to update the ticket so after you've done that you can see like right now this is the account administrator and this is the agent so why is this important it is because you want to be able to you want to be able to think what kind of groups over here you remember i show you guys the groups what kind of groups that you want to have in your company. So you have to start thinking about this because if you don't think about this, this is going to be like everyone have a global access. But then after that, you realize that, hey, you know what? There are certain tickets that I don't want to let this person who is working in CS to see a finance ticket, okay? So after you've done that, you have talked through it. So that's why you can just go over to the groups, okay? Just now remember, we have like building, customer success, customer support, engineering. There are too many of it. I don't love it no worries what you need to do is just to delete the one that is not important so just click delete i just want customer support billing and perhaps um sales okay so let me just click delete for the rest you can even rename it or you can add a new group not an issue so maybe this is about uh you know technical Okay, you can have a description. This technical is related to what? And you can even pick the uh, working hours. And don't worry, if you have a different business hours, I can show you guys where to do the setup later on. So uh, once I click technical group, then you can add agents in. So since I only have two agents, so let me just add two agents in, okay? So that's where this is for technical and we have two agents. Okay, so let's go back to the group and delete the rest to have it clean so now i have deleted the irrelevant one i'll maintain it as a building customer support sales and technical and let's just go over back to my admin uh, and click on agents to reset up so by right uh, i have a account administrator i am able to view all tickets right so just click global access and you know what? Just pick all the groups. Global access, pick all the groups and update agents. And then next, just uh, go over to this agent. And perhaps this agent, um, she can only view customer support and technical and sales, but she can't view the billing. And just click update agents. 
So this is the second thing you need to do. So after you're creating an account, the second thing you need to do is just go over to the admin, set up your groups, and also set up your agents, assign your agents to the particular groups, okay? Remember just now we were talking about business hours. This is where you want to set it up. So just click business hours. Okay, if you have a general business hours, you can just follow it in the fresh test. It's a default uh, business calendar. Uh, you can set the custom uh, business hours is at 8 to 5 or you have a different, you can change it to 9 to 6 or you don't, you don't actually work night time. You, you don't, you only work like Monday to Wednesday. You can actually select this because this will affect the escalation when the tickets aren't replied. What kind of escalation that you have? So the second thing that is very cool about this is that it can actually keep track of holidays. So they actually have added the standard holidays according to the time zone that you're setting. So that's why if the time zone is different, you may want to change it. Okay, right now my time zones follow, following the US and Canada. That's why the holidays in Fresh Desk also follow the US and Canada. That's where you want to set it. If you have extra holidays in your company, you can click the add holidays in Fresh Desk and pick the date. Um, like maybe on 28, this is an extra holiday. Extra holiday due to team activities, you can set it up in the uh, Fresh Desk and just click add. Okay, so for this, uh, my suggestion is that you want to review it every year, year end or year beginning to make sure that you guys have set it right. So this is a business hour settings. So let us just go back to the settings again. So we are set business hours, agents and groups. Okay, so the next thing that is very important to set up, it's uh, more on, let me see. It's actually ticket fields and SLAs. So you know what? I'm going to teach you guys how to set up ticket fields in Fresh Test as well as SLA policies in the next video in this Fresh Test playlist. So if let's say you've been loving the tutorial so far, it is very clear for you to learn how to use Fresh Test. Feel free to give me a comment down below and to like or subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you will learn more and motivate me to do even better videos to help you with Fresh Test. So if you have any other question related to this Fresh Test, feel free to comment down below as well and I'll be there to help you guys as much as possible. And remember to sign up the Fresh Test using my referral link down below. If let's you're loving my teaching so far okay i'm also reachable at my facebook dm which i also include in the description box down below and i'll see you in the next video on teaching you how to set ticket fields and sla policies take care bye